Hi guys, this is Raj, agent of change, back with another video. I am an enterprise solutions architect working at AWS. Chances are you came to know about this great technology called AWS and one fine day you feel determined to conquer AWS and you open the console and you feel a little lost with number of services available. I personally switched from mainframe to AWS. So let me share with you the path of learning I followed. So here are my five tips to master AWS. Tip number one, start with core categories first. Even though RoboMaker, AIML, and blockchain looks very appealing, start with compute, network, storage, and identity. Once you have these four basic areas covered, you can learn other areas much faster. I personally started with storage. Do S3 first. Amazon S3 has a simple web services interface that you can use to store and retrieve any amount of data at any time from anywhere on the web. It gives any developer access to the same highly scalable, reliable, fast, inexpensive data storage infrastructure that Amazon uses to run its own global network of websites. Then I recommend learning IAM. This one is part of security and identity, but it's used a lot in the areas coming next. AWS Identity and Access Management enables you to manage access to AWS services and resources securely. I know what you're thinking. I don't need to know this first. I want to learn how to spin up a server. But guess what? When that server comes up and need to access other AWS services, you know what you need? IAM. If you are in IT already and work in traditional applications, this is where you will struggle a bit. But don't worry, once you spend little time, you would be all set. Then start compute. Start with EC2. It is the crown jewel of AWS. It is super important you understand this service. Amazon EC2 provides scalable computing capacity in the Amazon Web Services Cloud. You can think of this as a virtual machine or your on-prem server on steroids. Using Amazon EC2 eliminates your need to invest in hardware upfront so you can develop and deploy applications faster. Amazon EC2 enables you to scale up or down to handle changes in requirements or spikes in popularity, reducing your need to forecast traffic. Then if you're interested in learning serverless, go learn Lambda. Next come databases. Start with RDS. Amazon Relational Database Service makes it easy to set up, operate, and scale a relational database in the cloud. It provides cost-efficient and resizable capacity while automating time-consuming administration tasks such as hardware provisioning, database setup, patching, and backup. It frees you to focus on your applications so you can give them the fast performance, high availability, security, and compatibility they need. Then try to learn DynamoDB. Amazon DynamoDB is a fully managed NoSQL database service that provides fast and predictable performance with seamless scalability. Then you should study network. Databases and compute options requires networking knowledge. When I mention network, people get intimidated. They think of all the routers, hub, and switches. But relax. You don't have to know deep traditional networking concepts. AWS does most of the heavy lifting. Learn VPC or Virtual Private Cloud. VPC is one of the most important concepts that you will use every day. VPC is a virtual data center in the cloud. Once you have a good understanding of these services, you can pick and choose any service based on your area of depth. Tip number two, identify similarities between what you know and AWS services. Finding similarities helps your brain connect the concepts and learn faster. I personally created a spreadsheet like this, which listed my current technology and AWS services. This will help you if you are migrating your current project to AWS as well. If you are already in IT and looking to switch to cloud, chances are 
you know what is relational database, index, primary key, what is a virtual machine, etc. So when you study AWS, try to find similarities and contrasts. Also, try to find the answers to the common questions asked in your day-to-day -day projects. For example, how do you perform disaster recovery with your database? How to improve performance? How do you debug? How do you do the monitoring, etc. For tip number three, I will just say my favorite code. The master has failed more times than the beginner has ever tried. Practice, practice, practice. Sign up for free TRAWS account and practice the core concepts, especially VPC, IAM, service roles, EC2, auto-scaling group, etc. Number four, where do you go from this? You should go for an AWS certification and start learning the areas for that certification. Personally, I did my SA Associate first, then I did my SA Pro. And after the core areas, I dived in security, serverless, and DevOps. Tip number five, here are some links that I found very, very useful. One thing to note though, don't sign up for a bunch of stuff. Don't think, hey, I'm gonna read every white paper out there. You won't be able to consume all that information from get go. Remember when you learned programming, you started with hello world and then arrays, loops, if else logic. You did not start writing binary tree in the first month. Even though I said five tips, I left the most important and additional tip for the last. Tip number six, like this video and subscribe to my channel. Just kidding. All right guys, hopefully this video helps in your AWS journey. Let me know of any questions in the comment section. See you guys later. Peace.